In this video, we're going to examine some functions that will allow us to perform the calculations that we, we want to on this spreadsheet. So again, if you haven't seen part one to, to get here, I recommend you do that. Uh, the link is at the bottom of the screen. Uh, what we're going to do, a function or a formula allows us to take bits of information, bits of data from different columns to perform manipulations, perform calculations. Uh, when we look at it in general, we want to just kind of sum these up. I want to know how many votes for Cuccinelli versus McAuliffe. That's basically what I want to do. And there are several ways that I can go about doing that in Excel. Uh, one of the, uh, one feature that I really like that Excel does is the ability for us to sort and filter information. And so what I want you to do, highlight row one, and then on your ribbon, look for this sort and filter button, and come down to filter. This is the easiest way to do this. It doesn't actually filter yet, but it gives us the ability to sort and filter all of these. You notice these little drop downs that we got. So one more time, we highlight row one, we come up to sort and filter, and choose filter. Once we've clicked filter and given ourselves the ability to filter, we get the little drop downs above and to the right of each column name. And you notice I get the ability to sort here as well as filter. That's why I like to do it this way. Um, this is another non-destructive editing technique. This allows me to, you know, hide some data, show some data, move data around without doing it destructively, always allowing me to go back to my original set. That's very useful. So for example, if I wanted to just look at King and Queen County, what I would need to do is come in here, and this might seem a little uh, backwards, but I need to click Select All, and then click King and Queen County. What that does is it has hidden everything except when you can see the little squares. The little white squares indicate that that information is not shown. King and Queen County doesn't have a, a white square. Now we can add. We can say, well, let's plop uh, Gloucester in there too. Okay. And then we'll add it. So we can filter by multiple values, just one. If I want to remove Gloucester, go back to just King and Queen, you could do it that way. And let's concern ourselves with what was the most important race, the, the governor's race. Same thing, now we'll just look at King and Queen County, filter by governor. If I wanted to filter again, by the ballot name because write-ins did not offer any significant data here. I could do that as well. If I decided to leave them in, I could simply hit the clear filter. So let me come back. We'll just look at the two main candidates. Now you might ask yourself, why are there two instead of one? Remember, one of the columns that we have hidden was the precinct. There are multiple precincts being reported in this spreadsheet. That's why there are two rows for Cuccinelli, two rows for McAuliffe, as opposed to just one. But now that we're here, I've filtered my, my data down by locality, office, and ballot name. I can use a formula to add these two numbers together. 